welcome to my vlog. Today, I found that my vehicle was shutting down and I went back and uh, I just happened to decide to check the rear crankshaft sensor, which is what you're looking at. And you ever wonder what, it would, ha what would happen if you pull that plug? Well, this is what happens when you pull that plug on your rear crank sensor. It shuts down. So if you've got a bad sensor, it is going to shut down on you. So I got looking, and I did this the other day, Look, and inside that freaking inside that that's your plug I don't know if you can see it but it is wet I cleaned that I cleaned that yesterday and I sprayed it out I made sure it was dry in there and uh, I decided I was gonna go ahead and change that thing because if that grounds out it shuts down just like I just showed you so I'm gonna show you I'll, I'll carry on this conversation here but I'm going after that crank sensor this is a long this has been a long process with this 2002 Malibu it's had a mysterious shutdown and uh, I've changed the crank sensor I've changed the cam uh, I changed the crank sensor that's underneath the harmonic balancer and then I changed the cam sensor, and uh, I still went up with the same problem. And uh, I even got into the into the uh, security system. I changed the uh, the ignition switch, the ignition tumbler, and uh, I've even changed the uh, ECM in it, and still had the same problems. But uh, I did, uh, I changed the, I did change the, uh, I, I wasn't able to start it for a while. And uh, then I went ahead and I changed the, uh, um, the ignition switch and I was able to start it. So uh, this has been a, like I said, been a long, uh, long process here. Okay. Hey, I'm back. And. This is a brand new one. This is the one that what it looks like for the for that rear one that's on the rear block, not the one under the uh, under the harmonic balancer. So I'm gonna get ready to change this and uh, stay tuned. And here's the old one. As you can see, I just pulled it out. And if you look inside, you can see oil in there. Well, if you see oil in there. When your motor shuts down, that's probably why, because it's grounding out, and it's no different than if you pull the plug, pull the plug out of there. So, um, this is this is how you pull it. That's a uh, little 10 millimeter uh, up in there. It's a 10 millimeter uh, nut on a long screw, and uh, you just unscrew it. There's your thing, and then uh, just pop it out and you're gonna pop the other one right back in it's gonna be self-aligned of course because you hit the bolt so uh, stand by I'll be back with you in momentarily all right I'm back and uh, now you're finding me underneath the vehicle again and uh, if you're looking this looking for this thing it's right on the back of the block you just go up on the inside it's in between the transaxle and the and your uh, full pan and uh, I'm gonna slide the new one up and find my there we go watch, watch the camera <laughs> watch what I'm putting the camera out let me get my hand up high enough to put it in there there you are right there okay and then it just slides right in it's like you see me just do. I'm gonna twist it around just a little bit. All right. Okay. Here's my little. Here's my bolt. As you can 
hands, see? I got small hands, okay? So, you guys that have got big hands, it, uh, it might be it's a little difficult. Let's get fine. So I lined it up right. Because it's all the bolt does. I got my, I got the hole lined up. So maybe <laughs> I got you upside down. That one. All right. <laughs> In there. Ooh. My way. Oh, room to move my wrist around in here. I don't know. How hard do I know with my hand? Oops, I dropped it. All right, I'm back. Well, a little plate around. I finally got the, the bolt in the hole. So, uh, again, with you guys that have got freaking big hands, it's going to be a little bit of a challenge. And uh, at least it's nice and it is loose the minute it freaking breaks loose you're good to go you got a uh, little you got a wire um, you got a wire tab that goes over that bolt and believe it or not all right now I use a 10 I use a 10 millimeter with the quarter inch wrench here and uh, uh, and much I'm up there to play <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. Gonna get the final piece back up there. I clean that. I sprayed that plug out with uh, good, uh, uh, good electrical cleaner here. back in all right all right here we are I'm gonna go ahead and start this puppy up and as you can see I've had all kinds of evolutions here's the here's the old ignition switch with the uh, with the security diode on top and uh, this puppy here my other videos, you might see that uh, this is the assembly that goes into, and of course there's all your plugs, uh, plug connections. I put this in, and I don't get nothing. It won't, it won't even turn. So I know that was that was bad as well. So I'm coming to the conclusion I've had uh, maybe two different uh, this ECM that I got for it, and uh, I'm taking it. I've got. I had two different problems with this thing. All right, here we go. Oh, beautiful. 
All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it sounds a little noisy. <laughs> it's those are the worst of our problems. And of course, it's a it's one of those 3100s, and you're gonna hear the knocking because uh, you want to understand uh, they're loose cylinders. So uh, you get that you get that wrap until it warms up, and uh, of course when I give it a little bit of gas, the noise goes away. And of course it comes back. Now I am hearing, I am hearing a little bit of chatter over here. That's telling me I've, I think I've got a bad bearing. I'm afraid it's down there in that crazy, uh, um, hold my light. A little bit of clattering. And I think I've got a bad, bad bearing and something wrong. Well, I would be surprised if it was the, uh, the old air conditioning pump. But that's another problem for another day. At least she's running now, and I'm happy. So, all right, follow my blog and. Uh, all right, we'll talk to you later. Watch the next vlog.